How's it going, guys? I'm back with some more Walking Dead. Uh, last episode, we had a little bit of trouble trying to save that guy and then giving food to other people. But yeah, um, let's get this. Let's get started. All right, now we're back. <laughs> now we're going straight back up to the dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. <laughs> that is one runaway train of thought. <laughs> Sorry, right, Doug. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during Point. our last trip to the drug Doug. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Pretty crazy-ass town. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh, I gotta say it's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Got enough to defend ourselves, pal. Enough to defend ourselves? Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a Shut dairy up, farm. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for... Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. Real. And you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but... Let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Bam! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh shit! Asshole! <laughs> World out Asshole! Here. Shit! Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I would have grabbed his fucking bow though. See, look at this place, it's all nice. Here it is. St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Uh, this is a fucking brilliant setup you guys got. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, Lily keeps us focused on survival. Lily, 
He's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Oh, uh, we're fucking... Oh, I know, speak cool. We brought gas. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Big fresh this morning. Holy moly! Fucking Doug. He's already eating no. them. <laughs> Sorry. He's just you can't get stuff like that anymore. He's just like, oh, cow okay. Milk and butter, that's for sure. No, but he's still got the eating that he's just like. Make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Fucking Danny. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with you. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure this place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Yeah, alright, I guess, uh... Yeah, I think we're gonna go look around the property a bit. tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor here. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Yeah, but see, that's one thing, though. It's like... If you have an electric fence, you're always going to be needing gasoline and wait till it runs out. And it's like, okay, if you're fucking, if the gasoline runs out, you're pretty much fucked. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I try and fix it? Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Damn it, I didn't want to work so hard. <laughs> Damn it.
mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. That's me. Yeah. Go right ahead. There we go. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to help out, you fucking asshole. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. But yeah, it seems a little too touchy about the barn. The board is good, but I need some rope. Okay, well, where the fuck is some goddamn rope? The board is good, but I need some rope. I don't think anybody's tried to fix this. I don't think it's really that important, but... Oh. Let's fucking ask him about some rope. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. Yeah, if anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Are we your first guests? We can't be the first people you invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Yeah, see, that's a funny thing, too. It's, uh... Alright, if I don't fucking fix this board, I'm not gonna really worry about it. There we go. This rope is perfect for the swing. I should never looked up here before. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. It meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dad. <laughs> My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. The fucking guy's a creep. Well, he just, he's creeping. He's creeping hard. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Okay, let's see if I can head in there.
quick. Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Uh, when will dinner be ready? When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Ah, uh, place looks amazing. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of that. What routines? Uh, how's your family holding up? How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? Since fucking oh, people were walking out and eating each other. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. <laughs> Why have your job? It's like zombie apocalypse. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, boss. Sorry, I gotta, like, I gotta go home. Like, so is it of it. <laughs> it's like, why would I go in the work? It's like, okay, zombie apocalypse here. Let me clock in. Just fucking try to clock in. It's so dumb. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The people stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night, those Oh, sorry, back here. It was. <sighs> sorry. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It's custom built. It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. These people are too nice. There we go, let's fix this shit. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. There we go. Yeah. Surprised, uh, took the time to do that, but, uh, let's talk to Mark and then we'll end it. I know I kind of spent a lot of time trying to look for that, but this so is my first time. Is this looking like a good place uh, to I can't stay? check the barn yet. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secure. This fence is no joke. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right, hey guys, sorry for taking so long fucking around with that swinging shit. Um, surprisingly, there's something cool with that. I get to learn some more stuff about the St. John's, but I hope you, you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and become a friend today, and yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute.